Hi guys, so I'm going to be starting out with Rio Ellie Strip Mocha Solution BB Cream. I'm going to be using this as my primer and to just even out my skin tone, get all the redness out. And I really like this because it has anti-aging properties in it and it just goes on so smooth. Love this stuff. Now I'm going to be taking my Studio Sculpt Foundation and my Colorstay Foundation and my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to mix, be mixing these all together with the Luster Drops in Sunrush. And using a 188 brush, I'm just going to be stippling this and blending this all into my face. This is such a wonderful foundation brush. It works really well and you can like use it on its side and sweep it and it won't leave any streaky marks so I really love this brush. Now I'm going to just go back in and touch up a little bit just to make sure there are no streaks and it looks like it did a pretty good job. Okay, so now I'm going to be going into my Giorgio Armani Master Corrector in number one. And I'm going to be applying this right under my eyes and in between my eyes where I have a little bit of discoloration. Then I'm going to be taking a 186 brush by MAC and this is a cream brush and a cream to powder brush and I'm just going to blend that into my skin. Really great brush to have for cream products. And always make sure you get right into the middle of the eye. Then I'm going to go in with my concealers, my Pro Longwear concealers and just apply this in a triangle and it looks quite scary. I know I added a little bit of too much product but it all turns out all right in the end, so it's okay. So I'm just going to meld this all together with my fingers and just blend that all together. Then I'm going to take my Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose and I'm going to be applying this to my cheekbones, a little bit underneath my eyes, to my nose, to my chin, and my jaw. And I like to highlight first because it gives me a guide onto where I want to contour and you'll see that in a moment. So you can see all the highlighted spots that I want highlighted. So I'm just going to blend this in with my fingers. I find that this is the best technique by just tapping. And then just with the warmth of my fingers, the product is going to go nice and smooth into my skin just blend that all in together. Now I'm going to be going into contouring and I'm going to be using the Sonia Kashuk Cream Blush in Rich Tan, I believe. And I'm going to take an e.l.f. stippling brush and as you can see that shadow, that's my foundation. And that's going to give me the guide that I need to know where I'm going to apply my contour. So that's a little tip there if you like to highlight first. I am applying this a little bit heavy, but that's okay. It will all be blended out. But I like to put a cream bronzer down first because it's going to act as a base for my powder bronzers. And I'm swooping this up onto my cheeks so it gives me the look of a fuller cheek. And I'm going to be blending this upwards, not downwards. You don't want a five o'clock shadow. And underneath my lip, of course. And all the high points of my face. So my forehead, obviously. Then I'm going to 
to take my NARS Casino bronzer with a MAC 109 brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of this product and apply it way in the back and I'm just going to buff that in and I'm not going to be taking this bronzer like all the way up to where I bronzed my cheek but this is just to add a little bit of depth and dimension because it's darker than the cream bronzer. So now I'm going into Give Me Sun by MAC and I'm going to just use a big fluffy brush. This one's by Sedona Lace and I'm just applying this pretty much everywhere, almost as a setting powder kind of. And down my neck, of course, just to, you know, blend in. After I'm done blending, I'm going to take my e.l.f. palette here. This is a corrector. It's like the tone corrector thing, and I'm just going to use that to set underneath my eyes the powder. Not the powder. Gosh. Get with it. The concealer. Now I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow and I love this stuff. It's waterproof, it stays all day, it's perfection in a tube for your eyebrows. It is definitely a must-have product, for me anyways. And then for cheeks, I'm going to go in with this gorgeous MAC blush in Pink Swoon. Taking my 109 brush again, I'm going to be applying this to right above the bronzer and a little bit with the bronzer and it just makes the prettiest color. It just is a nice flush. It's really pretty. So just apply this over your bronzer a little bit and it will give you a really nice healthy glow. Taking Benefits Stay Don't Stray, I'm going to use this as a primer for my eyeshadow. I have been through like three tubes of these. I really like it. People don't like the pump, but I don't find it any harder than my Pro Long Wear Concealer Pumps. So now I'm going to go in with Swiss Chocolate by MAC, and I'm just going to be using a 224 brush, and this is just going to add a bit of depth and dimension to my eye. And with what's ever left over on the brush, I just swept over my eyelid. So now I'm going to go in with Essence Gel in Midnight in Paris. Using a tart brush, I'm going to roll it on the back of my hand to get any excess product off. And then I'm going to just be applying this to my lash line. And I'm just going to take my time with it. And I'm going to be going all the way into the inner corner. And then I'm working my way onto the outer. And then this is where I'm going to make the wing. So I just connect it and pull in. Okay, so let's go on to our NARS Larger Than Life eyeliner pencil in Borrow, and this is a gorgeous mint green. So I'm just going right above where I put the Essence Black Eyeliner. This is called piggybacking. And I'm basically just following where I put the eyeliner, and that is it. That's really simple. And this is such a pretty color, it just... I don't know, it just does something to the eyes. It just makes them pop. So if you can get your hands on this color, oh, do it. It's gorgeous. And I'm trying to be careful not to get it on the black. But if you do, then don't worry because I will show you in just a second what we are going to do. Make sure you get the end of the wing. Okay, so I go back in with the gel eyeliner 
and to tidy everything up and make it look sharp and crisp, I just go over the black line again. And I have to say that this Essence Gel Liner and MAC Black Track are pretty much the darn same thing. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the eyeliner, same eyeliner, into my waterline. This is just going to brighten my eyes up and make them look larger than they are. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I love this eyelash curler. I find that it really opens up my eyelashes. I never used to curl them and now I am obsessed because it works. Now I'm going to be using my Mary Kay Lash Love and apply about three generous coats of this mascara. This gives you gorgeous lashes and it's so easy to work with. I love it. No wonder the M and the M M and L girls love this because it is great. So add mascara to those bottom lashes, girls, because with that lighter color on your lash line, this darker color is going to bring out the lighter color. So I'm going in with Max Impassioned or I'm passioned, however you want to say it. And this is my lipstick of choice. You can also use Maybelline Shocking Coral. This is such a gorgeous lipstick, I love it. So this is the final look guys. Thank you so much for requesting it. I hope everyone has a great day. And until next time, stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.